Wow, look at this, we're on a wee ferry. We are leaving Oban and we are going over to an island called Carrera, I think it's called. And we've got the ferry all to ourselves. How lucky are we? Good morning, Karen. Oh, good morning, James. We are island hopping today. It is Good Friday. It's the 15th of August, 2022. And we have left Oban and we are on a ferry over to an island called Carrera. So we're looking forward to today. We are doing a circular walk. It's 18 kilometers and we're going to go clockwise. Um, and James says we're going to come across beaches, castles, and lots of other things. So yeah, that's our adventure today, isn't it, James? It is. So happy Easter, everyone. How many times do you do this in a day? Is it, it, is. Is it just because I'm busy now? Yeah. You can do it once every half hour, pretty much. Right. If you leave one person behind, you need to do another one. Just get another one. <laughs> and is it quite Secret. popular? Aye. Is it, yeah? Sometimes. I was here last summer for a week, and one day with nearly 300 folk. So we've arrived at Carrera at 9 o'clock. The ferry's just dropped us off by the sounds of it. Um, talking to the guys, we're the first people over. Yes, we are an hour early. <laughs> we're an hour early, we've got the ferry an hour early. And we're off. Can you remember how popular these phone box were when we were younger? Oh, I don't even know if it opens. <sighs> Postcards, books, even got an island map guide, James. Two pounds. But we don't have two pounds. We don't have cash. So we can't have a book. <laughs> so we're here and our walk has taken us round here in this general direction. I'm going to map this out on Ordnance Survey Maps. I'll put a link to that route that we're going to take in the description. And it's a free download. You can just freely access it and you can actually see where um, our route takes us today on Carrera. It's dead calm, isn't it? So one of the things that we're going to be going to see is the castle and the tea garden. Maybe not the bunkhouse today. Okay, so I don't know if you can make this out on the camera, but there's some goats up there. There's one in plain view, and to the right of it, there's one looking at us straight on. Right, I was just saying to Karen there that this is absolutely spectacular. It's not the sunniest of sunniest days, but I think there's, there's something about this, the fact that we're on an island Little ferry over, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it's about 12 degrees just now. We're the first ones over, albeit there's still other people on the island and there's still other people doing their adventures. But it's just like a million miles away from the sort of civilization and the hustle and bustle and... There's a... A calmness. Can, there's a calmness and there's a sense of desolation, isolation and remoteness and... I've got a bit of a buzz on, and I'm loving it, I'm loving it. It's... It's just us. It's brilliant, <laughs> but it's not us. Anyway, Carrera, first impressions. Loving it. Brilliant, brilliant walk. <laughs> what a lovely place to have a bench. Just sit and gather your thoughts and, I don't know, watch the world go by, the boats go by, the tide going in and out, the sheep. Have a sandwich, contemplate. There you go, as I was saying. So here we go, we've came round to the Community Woodland Project and a pound a tree, one pound equals one tree. So, so far, in about the space of a kilometre, we've came across two examples of 
contributing money towards local projects. I guess if the Carrera or other local community people are watching this, in a heartbeat, we, because I've just spoke to Karen, we would, we would pay money into that and, and give some money, but we don't carry money. Um, we, you know, cards and it's electronic and all that kind of things is the, the hip hop thing of today. So I guess my point is, if there was a current details on that sort of board, we would go back or we would stand there and pop a pound into that, so you've got the pound for the tree. So I guess the feedback is, um, go beyond actual physical money, think about putting account details there and allowing people to pay electronically. So this is Uncle Paul's bench, which is dead sweet. It's really nice to come along and have these little benches. You know, if you were, um, if it was a really nice sunny day, there'd be nothing better than sitting on that bench looking out at that view. and the birds and the water, it's just another great place to stop and contemplate, think about life and what you're doing, where you're going, the journey. Oh wow, look at that view. So we've come along and they keep talking about this tea room that we're coming to and there's been lots of these little pretty little um, teapots and it's just saying that it's down the hill but in the distance I don't know if you can see it or not we've got a wee stranded lamb that I think James is going to go over and see if he can help so let's see how he gets along. Over there um, there looks like a wee lammy caught on one side of the fence and mum's on the other side of the fence so I'm going to go over like what I did in Lewis and try and get them back together. Come on guys, come on Lammy, here we go, it's in this way, come on. So I'm going to try and sneak behind it. Just stand out here, Karen, just as a sort of another barrier. It's okay, no, 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 no. There we go. Down this way, pal. There we go. On you go. That way. Come on. <laughs> How's that? That's fantastic, isn't it? No. There you go. Well done, Jim. Tea and cake now. Okay, spot a lock here. Because we're early, um, the castle, there's a wee sort of marker here just before the tea room about the castle. So we're going to go down here to the castle. And I want to say, if I, is that a toilet, that green? It is a hut? toilet, James. It's the toilet. I'll let you get that can, thank you very much. So here's the toilet, I'm not going to go in. We don't need to do that. A couple of signs. Carrera Wildlife. The Scottish Islands passport app is now live for Carrera. Check that out if you have to, if you want to. Um, so it's either a toilet or it's too late. Oh. <laughs> Heading out to the castle. I just look at that, folks. Just look at that spectacular Galen Castle on the island of Carrera. Ravens and pigeons. There are ravens and pigeons in here. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. There we go. So we're actually <coughs> we're inside the castle, and 
it's open access, so we're not doing anything untowards. There's nothing stopping us, so we're all okay here. Wow, this must have been like the toilet or something. Chimney. Opposite the fireplace is a small stone sink whose drain neatly connects to the privet or toilet on the left. So that was the sink. Yep. And this was the privet. Looking up, the second and third floors also have fireplaces. Stop playing out there. Come in. Dinner's ready. Come on. I'm not ready to come in. I want come to play. In. OK, so we've arrived at the Carrera Tea Garden Room. And there you go. So what's an offer? What's an offer? We have got all of this yummy stuff. Karen, what have you went for? Oh, I've went for the lemon drizzle cake and a nice hot coffee. Cool. And I've went for the fudgy chocolate brownie and coffee. Mm. Yum yum. Yum yum. My hands are so cold. But this will certainly heat them up. And the cake will just warm my heart. It'll just warm my heart. So we're leaving the castle behind us, or to the left of us. So it's over there, the Glen Castle. And we've had our little um, cake and coffee at the tea room. So I dare say if you were coming over here just for, a, I don't know, two or three hours and you wanted to walk out to the tea room, have a cup of coffee, visit the castle, head back to the sort of ferry, all good. Maybe two hours, depending on how long you spend at the castle. But we've decided to go round, as you know, we're doing the big sort of 18k walk round the island. How's the coffee can? It was nice, it was really nice just to have something hot, something sweet, unexpected. Yeah, it was nice. So that'll keep us topped up until lunch, eh? Oh, definitely. Definitely. The wee lammies were coming down to see us. They were getting mixed up with who their mammy was. Nice, eh? Nice, cute. That was cute. That was really cute. That was cute. So it's lambing season, obviously. Lots of little lammies about. So it's not just um, lambing season, it's uh, goat season. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but just over there, there's um, a couple of goats, like mummy goat and baby goat. They're well camouflaged. It's, not it's really... amazing how they camouflage yourselves into the mountains. Okay, so we've came round a, a further bitty on our walk. Just magnificent views. So there's other people doing the walk, but they're going um, anti-clockwise. So there's person, family, couple of groups. Okay, so we've came so far round the clockwise route of our walk and just down at this sort of fence, we're at the sort of point of no return. In other words, if you go straight on and you want a shorter day, you go back to the ferry. And if you turn left, you can add on another maybe five or six k's, but I'll put something in the video to say exactly how much you can add on. So you could sort of plan to do the long walk. If the weather deteriorates, you could sort of Having a wee escape route back to the ferry here. 
So that's quite a good point that Karen's just sort of clocked here. So from this junction here, the guys at the tea garden, I'm assuming I've got one hour 30 minutes to the castle. So that way, one hour 30 minutes. But we're heading this way to go on the longer walk. There it's there. Right, so follow me guys. So from that sort of um, fence, we've just came down about a tw another 20 metres. And this is the track that we are going clockwise around the island. To see the... Obelisk. So we're going to see an obelisk around there in the fish farm. So again, if you're coming round anti-clockwise, there's reasonable signage here to show you which way to go. Okay, so that is now about 20 past one in the day and we've decided we're going to have lunch here. Grid reference below and I'm going to put the drone up and you can see what it's like from the sky. But it's just so quiet, so calm, reasonably secluded. Nice place to have a little bit of lunch. The only thing it's missing is a picnic bench. A picnic bench and... Prosecco. Prosecco. <laughs> so a wee glass of fizz would be so absolutely... That would, just, uh -huh, that would just top it. That would be delightful. But it's not going to happen because we've still got a couple of hours to go and I'm driving at the other end. Yes. So we're going to be sensible, but we can always imagine and dream. Oh yeah, it would be nice. But then Karen's not driving, so, you know, James, you should have taken that into account. Aye. Should we sit here? Yeah, why not? There you go. So there, there's one spot for you. And just look at that view. Not a bad spot to be having lunch, is it, folks? How was lunch, Karen? Oh, it was amazing. It was really nice. Nice roll with Philadelphia cheese and ham. And James just made it perfection. It was a good day. It was nice. It was nice. Big lumps and clumps of Philadelphia cheese. A nice very good alternative for butter if you are ever anywhere and thinking what I'm going to use. It was nice. So I'm just wondering if, uh, let me turn the camera around. <clears throat> if you can see the sort of turquoise colours out in the water in the foreground here. It's close, but it's not quite sort of north east area type colours just now. So we're coming over to this part of the island where there's a bit of a... Um, I think there's a fish farm, which you can see out there. There's a bit of a marina, boats. But mainly we're going to head over towards an obelisk. And we're going to see what the obelisk is all about. You've got to love a wee Highland Coo. Ooh, I've just passed some Highland Coo. Look at the horns of some of those bad boys over there. Okay, we've came over to this part of the island and this is where the sort of boat yard, marina, etc. bits and bobs are. And if you can make it out in the distance on the sort of skyline, there's the obelisk. We're going to head over there. And there is Oban to your right. There's the beautiful port of Oban. Nice one, Cam. I'll check that old boat out, eh? I bet that's seen a few miles and a few seas and a few oceans and whatnot. There you go, fantastic. Some sea kayakers out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe.
So we're about a kilometre away from the ferry. You can see it going from the mainland, left to right, coming over to Carrera. Right, listen, let's just do a wee summary. What do we think? What do we think? How, do we, how have we enjoyed this so far, Karen? This has been an amazing walk. A really good, if you ever come to Oban, definitely highly recommend it. It's manageable. There's not much um, up and downs. It's fantastic. The views are amazing. Again, you're quite secluded. You do, you know, there are a few people about, but hey, there's not many. Okay, so that's us at the end of the walk. Over and out, and from James. It's uh, Astor Luego till the next adventure. Cheers, bye bye.